Okay, so this is just a brief video to show you how to use um, uh, Google Plus to store, manipulate, um, present photos and videos, perhaps in your sites um, and other places. So, first of all, I'm signed into Google Plus here with my school account, and I'm going to go to um, photos down the side here. So you can see that I've got quite a few photos here already and some videos of people doing experiments. To get photos onto Google Plus is really easy, especially if you use a smartphone. Um, but the basic way is to click on Upload Photos and you drag and drop photos into there and you can upload them. That's really all there is to it. To get them from a smartphone, um, all you do is install the Google Plus app on your phone, sign into it with your school account or whatever account you want to use it with, but in our case it will be our weeklypart.org account, and um, it will ask you whether you want to use um, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data or not at all to instantly upload backup um, videos and uh, images. So um, that's up to you which you do. Um, if you've got unlimited mobile data, you can have both of them. If you just want to use Wi-Fi and you don't want to use up any of your mobile data, just select Wi-Fi and it will wait until your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. If it's connected somewhere in school, for example. So if you've got that enabled, what will happen is when you take a picture or you record a video, perhaps in a lesson, somebody's doing a presentation, then a few moments later, depends on the connection speed, but typically a few seconds to a few minutes, you'll be able to view that on um, a computer, as long as you log on to Google+. Once you've got those images, and here are some that have been instant uploaded for me, this one was a while ago, this is um, something we did in the year 13 lesson, um, there's a number of things that you can do, so if you click on the more thing here, you can organise all your photos in albums, so if you click on Add to Album, you have a choice of creating a new album or you have a choice of adding it to existing albums. This one already exists in an album I've got called Chemistry Photos, but I could put it into another album if I wanted to by just typing in the name of an album there and clicking on Copy, and it will make a copy of that fo um, picture in that album. And organising your photos into albums will be very useful when you want to add your content to other places. Um, you can share in the same way as you can within the rest of Google Apps. So if you click on share, um, you can share it with individual people, you can make the images public, um, and you just need to type the people in here. So this could be circles within Google Plus, it could be individuals, it could be communities that you subscribe to. So if you just type it in there, you'll get your options. Or oh, there's a little drop down thing there and you can opt to send people an email and you can share photos that way um, so that's sharing um, you've also got an image editor built into Google Plus so if you click on edit um, it gave me a little this has already been shared this image that so gave me a little warning that um, if I change things it will be changed with the shared image as well and you've got a range of editing tools down the side here so these are things to create effects on photos um, to make it monochrome or give it some sort of sepia look all those sorts of things you can crop and rotate photos as well so it's a reasonably fully functioned fully functional image editor for you to um, for you to use so if I go back to my images here it's not just um, images you can instantly upload photos sorry videos should I say and this is this is a photo sorry a image a video in fact I uploaded in the chemistry lesson straight from smartphone and this one is shared with the chemistry students and it's also shared with the Google Plus community. Um, so if I go to albums, this now presents the photos as I've organised them into albums. So for example I've got an album for chemistry photos and videos and um, 
I've also got one for Duke of Edinburgh. So when I take the photos, I then organise them into whatever album that I want. Um, so it's really straightforward to use, quite quick and simple. But the power comes when you start playing with sites as well. So if I go into, um, let's go into a chemistry site. I go to chemistry pictures. So when you create all your um, your sites, what you can do is embed either the gallery or individual photos from your Google Plus Photos straight in here. So if I edit this site, then you can go to insert Google Plus. You can choose individual photos. So I can browse through individual photos or I can go to insert from Google Plus photo album and I can choose an entire album and in which case you get this um, little flash um, album which people can click into to go full screen or they can go through and you can choose whether it auto plays or not and you'll, you'll have the videos as well as the pictures scrolling through there. I can also embed the Google Plus um, galleries like this directly onto the school website if you wanted any directly onto the school website. Um, so that's really quite useful. So you can put them straight onto your um, straight onto your sites. Um, so that's kind of all I wanted to show you at the moment. Um, do have a play around with it. The space this takes up um, counts against your 30 gigabytes of um, storage certainly for videos. For images, if you um, keep them relatively small, under 3 megapixels, then they don't count at all and you can put as many as you want. If you go much above 3 megapixels, I think it is, then you'll find that they do count against your storage quota, although you can still store many, many hundreds of photos on here without really any issue. But if you're using stuff on the web, then super high resolution images like eight, nine megapixel images that you get from cameras are really unnecessary and you might as well knock the settings on the camera down to something like two or three megapixel and that is more than adequate for anything that you might be putting on to say a Google site and it will also save you storage, things will upload more quickly. Um, it's only if you're print publishing to much much bigger sizes on paper that you need to um, worry about those sorts of screen resolutions. But anyways, create some albums, instantly upload some photos, you can feed them straight back to students very, very quickly. And you can always download these things if you want to put them into your drive or you want to do something else with them. Okay, so that's just a little brief guide. I know some of you will know all this already, but just in case you didn't and you wanted to have a feel for what you could do.